Yeah, where are we? We are in Stanley Park. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Question? In Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Yes, I'm I so excited. I can't believe I'm here. I know. It's okay. We're, we're having a good time. This is actually our first time meeting. Yeah, first time meeting in person. IRL. Oh my god. It's so funny. We've known each other for a year. A little over a year. Which is surprising because we met over, like, what, Google Meet? Yeah, or Zoom. <laughs> yeah, one of those things. Everything's been really surreal this year. Mm -hmm. We're definitely sure. No, oh my god, yeah, of course. I'm just glad you're here, like literally out of nowhere. It's like, hey Jay, I'm coming to Vancouver. I was like, okay, I'm gonna make my way out there and see if I can meet you. I'm so <laughs> glad we made it work with everything happening. <laughs> no, uh, what am I doing? We decided to sit down because it's really hot and I couldn't... The ground was getting mushy? Yeah, and I couldn't navigate myself and record at the same time, so... Okay, we got it. We're gonna keep things simple. Yes, it's okay, <laughs> we walked. We walked, now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think we can talk a little... I thought we could talk a little bit about... You're starting school again soon. We're both starting school again soon. Yay! <laughs> yay, yay! Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow, literally tomorrow. Are you excited? There's like the courses I'm taking, it's like last minute electives, but I actually think about school and I'm like, honestly, there's so many opportunities with it, like meeting other people or getting to know your profs or like getting to build connections. And I'm looking forward to that, like not like the studying, not like the, the work, it's like the people, which is why I think it's like the best part about school. Um, but other than that, I really want to get back into my school. I haven't been at school <laughs> for like a year and a half now because of COVID, so I think it's really weird like going into, like, literally in, in a classroom. Um, their environment is a lot different. I can literally listen and not, like, sleep during my lectures. It's and to really make easy to sleep during lectures. <laughs> it's so easy. And I felt so bad every time I slept. I felt like, oh my god, like, they can hear me. I'm like, okay, it's fine, my mic's muted and everything. I was like, man, like, this is very sad. Like, I want to be, like, in class. I was more mo motivated to study and yeah. do well when I was going in into classes but at home I had a lot of distractions and oh yeah <laughs> oh yes I really like napping mm -hmm. <laughs> and like a lot of people honestly it's being in the classroom with like a lot of people trying to be there for the same reasons like have a good time like finish your studies mm -hmm. um, and you have the support there like the in like in-person support is a lot different than virtual support even like for mental health I was like oh I need to like talk to someone in prison I feel like it will help me a lot more you retain information more if you talk about it as well. So yeah. studying becomes really fun. Mm -hmm. This year, I'm hoping to study with like a friend or something. Yeah. Because I I can't. I really it, it's <laughs> really true. hard to motivate yourself when yeah. you're not with other people doing the same thing. And do you like cafes? I'm like having to like study with someone, be accountable for each other. Going like, yeah. are you doing work? I do that all the time, and I love yes, it. Yes, I love that. I didn't really have school. Uh, during lockdown because I graduated. <laughs> I am going back to school and I'm really excited. I, I actually really like school. I love learning. Um, I listen to a lot of podcasts, educational podcasts. Oh, I really? love learning. Oh, yeah. Love um, how has the transition, like what year are you in? <laughs> oh, my year. <laughs> I mean, I've changed my degree to an associate of arts to a Diploma of Arts, and now staying at a Diploma of Arts, I just want to finish it, mm -hmm. even though I've been in school for four years. It's and okay. So I it's, took yeah. an extra, extra time to graduate as well. How old are you again? Oh my god, I don't even know the same age. I'm 24. Oh, I'm 22. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were younger than me. It's the pigtails. It's the pigtails. <laughs> and the very cute nails. I got refused to ser uh, uh, be served alcohol yesterday. Yeah, you yeah, I saw, I saw. And you were like, oh, I didn't have two pieces of ID, right? Yeah. Oh, my God, rude. I didn't know because in Ontario, we just have one, one piece of ID. Yeah, we have to have two here because they're so strict. I was like, uh. Or even a credit card and uh, I, That's ID. what I used okay. after I found <laughs> You're just like, oh my God, finally. <laughs> Please. <laughs> But yeah, I didn't know you were literally two years older than me, which makes sense. I was like, I was like, you graduated. Already. Oh my god, I thought we were the same age or younger. So I was like, no. you're fast. <laughs> I took my sweet time yeah. graduating. I took a year off after high school, mm -hmm. and then I took a like a semester to do co-op, and then a semester abroad, which I mm -hmm. didn't really. Yeah. <sighs> it was more fun than studying. Mm -hmm. So I took an extra semester to finish in. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, it worked out. I didn't like virtual learning at mm -hmm. all. That's why I... I don't know that <laughs> I, I just hated it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I get that. One thousand percent. I'm happy you're here! <laughs> I don't think- okay, wait, like, side note, I think it's like when people go like, oh, like, why are we not talking? Like, it's awkward. Um, I think it's just so weird, because in quarantine, whenever we had group calls, and there'd be like, you know, those, like, awkward silences, like, it became normalized. And so, I like, can sit in silence for a really long time. I don't think it's awkward. Mm -hmm. Things aren't good. only as awkward as you make it. I That's think. so true. Because, like, if it's quiet, it's like, okay, it's quiet. Oh, here's something to talk about. And you're like, hey, that's that's cool. And it just keeps going. Which is mm -hmm. why I think it's so cool being in quarantine. Because you realize, like, talking and, like, having pauses and awkward silences aren't awkward. Unless you make it, it awkward. It used to give me so much anxiety. Me too. <laughs> it took a lot of retraining my brain to be like, mm -hmm. all right, this is, this is fine. We don't always have to be talking. We don't yeah. always have to be doing something. Mm -hmm. Let my brain work. <laughs> yeah. And that reminds me of like uh, this game I used to play during quarantine. It's called We're Not Really Strangers. Mm -hmm. And like one of the best questions I've ever gotten was like, oh, like what's one thing that took you so hard to unlearn? And like doing that, like exactly like knowing that it's okay to have awkward silences and to have conversations that always don't always like work out perfectly because they're always different. You're never going to have like the perfect personality all the time. And so. I've really learned to, <laughs> I've really learned to sit in the moment, so, yeah. like, being in the moment, it also helps with my anxiety, because anxiety tends to be, like, uh, worrying about the future, yeah. and if I'm just sitting in the moment, I don't... You're just focusing, you're yeah. present, you're living, and you're just like, hey, that, this is it right now. This is a really, I've never been here before, and it's beautiful, and I'm yeah. meeting a really good friend. For the first time. <laughs> oh, no, for the very first time in person. And like, the fact that we can hug. Oh my god. I remember we always I say V hugs. hugs. V I hugs. I love hugs. V That's hugs. So <laughs> I was like, wow. It's Sorry, I real. keep screeching. I, I it's good. Can't help no. It. <laughs> You're expressing yourself. I think that's amazing. Oh. oh, yeah. So, how has your journey been to accepting? Mm. I'm trying to word this right. Okay. Accepting, like, being who you are and like being comfortable being in your skin. Mm -hmm. I think it's always a work, it's always like a process working with it because I feel like I'm never going to be at like my peak. Like I always think like, oh, like I'm like doing so well, like this is, this is like my peak. And I think there's always just going to be an, like an incline. And sometimes there's some declines, but I mean like it's always going to be going up. And I think that's the best part about living. It's like always looking forward to something, always growing to be a better person because there's always something that you want to do and achieve. And with me being my true self, it's like being comfortable in who I am and realizing different parts of me within different years. Like after I came out, I was like, oh, that's it? <laughs> like, okay, that's cool. And then I was like, oh, but there's like gender identity and how um, I love drag. And there's like these different things that just pop out of nowhere. And I'm like, oh, this makes it a lot more fun to like keep looking forward to stuff. And I think being in tune with myself and being able to see how things work and my triggers and my barriers and my boundaries with family. I'm like, there's things I can talk about, things I can say and stand up for myself because I'm slowly starting to realize every year by year, I realize how much like a person I am and how much I deserve happiness and like deserve to be loved. And like that, I'm just like, I like, I'm a person on this planet, I'm not a speck of dust. But people say like, oh, you're like literally like, a tiny little person in this entire world. I'm like, no, like, I'm, a, like, I'm, a big, I'm a big person. And I love being that. And I love being a big personality and everything. But I it's love just, your personality. Thank you. Can you show <laughs> your nails? Yes, yeah, we'll show our nails together. <laughs> but yours is so sparkly. I love it. Yeah. I love nails. Yes. I am a nail tech, if you don't know. <laughs> Book. <laughs> <laughs> Young and ugly to Toronto. <laughs> if I go to Toronto, you can tell you my nails. I yes. really do not mind. Please. I, that, that's really therapeutic for me. Mm -hmm. I can sit. If I can have a conversation with a client, I love talking. Yeah. I love conversing. Mm -hmm. But if if they don't want to talk, I have like an Your hour time. to myself. Yeah. And just have a nice session to just like focus in. And why? Yeah. Is like is that your self-care kind of thing? Because mine's like makeup. Sitting down, literally listening to music, playing a video in the background, and just doing my makeup and like just kicking myself up and feeling in the moment there. Is that your thing for like nails? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I was really into nails when I was younger. Unfortunately, I don't like, I'm very, I'm really busy. Mm -hmm. I can't do it like full time. Yeah. But um, it's, it's helped me in a lot of ways. Be creative, first of all. Yeah. Uh, 
it's a really good downtime for me. I have learned to be so much more social, which yeah. I've gotten a lot of, uh, like, it's been good for me being social. I used to be very, very um, anti-social. I used to never leave my house. Uh, it's just different. It's nice. It's given me a lot of, like, opportunities even. I love that. I think that's so cool, trying to find what works, and then when it does work, you're like, oh, I want to keep doing this. And that's literally me with like makeup. I was like, oh cool, like I'll start a skincare routine. Oh, like I can start doing foundation and concealer and like all these other things. And then it branched out into like drag and I was like, oh my god, that's so fun. And like I just putting saw her persona. on Instagram, yes. I followed recently. Yes, Miss Yvonne. Um, that's my alter ego. I should tell you my story about that. Uh, I love telling people about it because it's so unique. And so like with Yvonne, um, in the womb, my mom had two kids, me and another girl. And so three months passed when she when she just got pregnant, three months passed, and then unfortunately she passed away. And so my mom had a miscarriage with her, and so it was like this huge thing where like I was gonna I was at risk because it's like oh there's literally a fetus that's dead inside the womb. And then so they had to like take out the womb and like go like take her out and then like make sure I was okay, and then I was okay obviously. Um, and then so yeah, I was born, and so my real name's Irwin, funny, <laughs> and <laughs> her name was supposed to be Yvonne. Mm -hmm. So that's why I take that name and yeah, I like awesome. reclaim it. I try to give her that like that like representation and that like that like I don't know, I embody her mm -hmm. and I try to see that like I can be her through me and like see that I can just like have fun and it's like yeah, it's like my mom gets a daughter that she never so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm really happy listening. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. It's it's a story I love telling cuz a lot of drag people have their stories with their names some of them are just like so funny um but mine's like it's like unique and i i found it to be something i really cherish and like i think it's so unique with how my story is with that like i think about when i was a kid i literally felt bad that i was on this earth and she wasn't i remember i was grade 12 and i wrote a letter to my mom from a youth camp going like i'm so sorry like i'm not like as much as a good kid as you wanted oh thank you but yeah like she like I was telling my mom with this letter, um, in this letter it just basically said like I'm so sorry that Yvonne couldn't live the life that she could, and that I'm not as good as a person I should be. I, I was 12, and I said this stuff, and so I was Holding like, a lot of guilt. Yeah, and I was like, why am I so sorry? Like, why should I feel sorry? Like I should be grateful for who I am. And so you know when I expressed this to my parents, they were so shocked. They're like Jay, like it's fine. Like it's okay. Like you have these feelings. It's okay to feel these feelings. And like to like let it all out and so like i, I cried a lot as a kid <laughs> but, <laughs> i am a professional crier yeah, me too. <laughs> it used so, to be like, really ashamed but it is an outlet and i'm not is. hurting anybody <laughs> yeah you're just like i can cry <laughs> like am i gonna I cry and i'm like all right next. <laughs> let's go next, next. And so that's truly <laughs> my thing too and you know with being able to express my feelings with my parents and my brother and like my family it just breaks this I'm barrier where it's like now it's okay to cry and it's okay to feel these feelings and like I get to be who I want and like be who I am. And then you get to that. move on and then worry about the yeah. more important things in life. Exactly, the girls. Just kidding. Capital. That's too big of a topic. <laughs> but, Touchy subject. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. We'll pass on that. Um, but yeah, I think with everything with dragon makeup, it's just I, I, another thing that I just found like with being who I am and my personality and that's what I mean like with growing to who you want to be and how you want to be comfortable in certain spaces it's like I've cultivated this this space and this opportunity for me to grow and I'm always going like oh maybe I want to start booking drag shows maybe I want to start doing advocacy work with my drag and like it's just like this entire building block of things so many doors open. yeah so many doors open and I'm just like everyone can do that and like for you your nail salon like you can probably open your own and like connect no, it I don't to, want like, to do that you can do what you want <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying there's doors within what you want to do yeah it is <laughs> we Ubered in a Tesla today. Oh fun. Oh fun. Oh fun. I've never been in a Tesla. I'm a Tesla it's quiet. virgin. It's very quiet. Oh, stuff yeah. for self-care. Yeah. I love sitting in the park. I love summers. Yeah. Just sitting in the park and people watching or and I love bugs. So I'll just like <laughs> stare at a little patch of grass or and like, you see little, like little things, little critters. Yeah. Pass by. I love crabs and I was saying yesterday I wanted to see crabs. More crabs yeah. today. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm so happy 
Katie, thank you for sharing your um, journey with us. Mm -hmm. A little bit of your journey. You are, I love your personality. Stop, me too, I love yours. Oh my God. I think it's so cool how we get to work out, work this all out and like be here in person. Oh, I'm like, we, we're like from like Literally really, really far away. Yeah. And the, I, I love the internet. Mind blown. I just said I, lo I hate <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, just, okay, oh, whatever. Oh, it's fine. Okay. But Signing me too. Off. I'm glad. Signing off. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I hope you all have an amazing day. Peace, peace. And have a great day. <laughs>